Please rise. Be seated. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the swearing-in ceremony for the New Democratic Party Caucus. Uh, I will be conducting the ceremony. My name is Neil Ferguson. I'm the chief clerk, and I will be ably assisted by the two assistant clerks, Annette Boucher, QC, and Nicole Arsenault. Um, please feel free to take any photographs you want. We'd like this to be a family-friendly, welcoming um, occasion. Uh, afterwards, we'll ask everybody to proceed downstairs uh, where the reception is, but if anybody wishes to c uh, come back and take photos in this space, you're going to be welcome to do that as well. One thing that uh, members who've been sworn in before will recall that we always try to make, uh, to draw to people's attention, is the significance of the ceremony. Uh, in the 260, almost 260 years of parliamentary democracy in Nova Scotia, there have been millions and millions of Nova Scotians who've been born and lived, but only a tiny, tiny handful of those people have been chosen by their communities to uh, represent those communities in such a high and honorable office. So that is the significance of the ceremony, and when you hear the members taking the oath of allegiance, you, know, you should reflect upon that. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to start by reading the proclamation. Whereas by royal proclamation under the great seal of the province and bearing the date of the 30th of April AD 2017, the then General Assembly of the province was dissolved and it was ordered that writs of election do issue in due form for the election of members to serve in the House of Assembly. For the several electoral districts of the province, which said writs bear the date of the 30th of April AD 2017. And whereas pursuant to the said proclamation, Due returns were made to the said writs of election, declaring those persons duly elected to serve in the General Assembly of the province of Nova Scotia. I have the honor to report that according to the said returns, seven members have been elected from the New Democratic Party. I would ask that each member come forward uh, and take the oath of allegiance and sign the role as a member of the House of Assembly after the name of that member and the electoral district for which that member has been elected is read. And uh, the new members will also be receiving a, a, a member's pin and be asked to sign the register. Gary Burrell, Halifax, Chibucto. Thank you. I, Gary Clayton Burrell, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. David Wilson, Sackville, Cobequid. I, David Wilson, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. Lenore Zan, Truro, Bible Hill, Millbrook, Salmon River. 
Thank you very much. <clears throat> I, Lenore Elizabeth Zahn, do affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. Lisa Roberts, Halifax Needham. I, Lisa Roberts, do affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her, her heirs and successors, according to law. Susan LeBlanc, Dartmouth North. I, Susan Nicole LeBlanc, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Claudia Chender, Dartmouth South. I, Claudia Chender, do affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the swearing-in ceremony. I want to, on behalf of all of the staff of the House of Assembly, congratulate all the returning and new members on their election. And as I said, uh, anybody who wishes to take photographs in here after the ceremony is more than welcome uh, to do so. And uh, we wish you all a wonderful day. Welcome to the swearing-in for the member for Cape Breton Centre. 
Whereas by royal proclamation under the great seal of the province and bearing the date of the 30th of April AD 2017, the then General Assembly of the province was dissolved and it was ordered that writs of election do issue in due form for the election of members to serve in the House of Assembly for the several electoral districts of the province, which said writs bear the date of the 30th of April AD 2017. And whereas pursuant to the said proclamation, due returns were made to the said writs of election, declaring those persons duly elected to serve in the General Assembly of the province of Nova Scotia. I have the honor to report that according to the said returns, seven members have been elected from the new Democratic Party. I would ask the member for Cape Breton Centre to come forward and take the oath of allegiance and sign the roll as a member of the House of Assembly. The member will also be presented with her member's pin and asked to sign the register. I, Tammy Martin, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. Thank you. Please be seated. Sign at the bottom of that row. Can look up for some photos. And Uh, Annette Boucher QC, uh, who is today here with Nicole Arsenault, uh, to pre uh, present you with your member's pin. And we can all stand next to the table here uh, together for a photograph if you. That was easy, wasn't that it? Was easy. <laughs> it's the easiest thing you'll do with an MLA. Yes. 